Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today in my studio. In this video today, you get to watch me paint a landscape painting. I'll be doing a painting in acrylics of Smith Rock. Smith Rock State Park is located in Central Oregon's High Desert near Terrebonne and Redmond. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Portland and it is a beautiful drive. When people hear of Oregon, they often think of just it's very wet and gray and there's lots of trees. And sure, this is true, but they don't realize how diverse Oregon actually is. It has a number of different ecoregions throughout the state. Oregon has a beautiful coastline and obviously there's an abundance of forested mountains, but there's also wetlands and desert. And that is where this Smith Rock is located, in the desert of Oregon. Now the origin of Smith Rock's name is uncertain. I've heard it was from a lawman. Another website said it was from a soldier. So nobody really knows for sure why it's called Smith Rock. But regardless of how it got its name, one thing is for sure, and that this park is absolutely amazing. It is breathtaking to say the least. Not only can you go there and just be blown away by the views, but there is also camping and there's miles of trails to walk that take you all the way down to that crooked river that flows through it and all the way up those basalt cliff sides, which is also great for rock climbing. And when I went there to visit, there were lots of rock climbers on those rock faces. And it was amazing to watch them because they were so, so little compared to how huge Smith Rock is. They are little tiny specks. And I used my cell phone to zoom in on them to see them climbing. And I got vertigo just by watching them. It was really impressive. So like I said... It is basalt, which means that Smith Rock is volcanic. It was made up of layers of basalt flows overlaying older Clarino ash. It's a really fascinating place to be. If you haven't gone, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful place to go, and you can definitely expect to spend not just several hours, but at least a whole day there. And I do recommend getting there early in the morning, or if you get there later in the day, you're definitely going to want to be camping because you cannot experience this park in just half a day. You need at least one day, if not two. And I unfortunately only had about half a day to go there. So I would like to go back to finish seeing the rest of the park. The trail that I will be painting in here today does wrap around all the rock faces and wraps around that big rock that I'm painting in here all the way around that and back up and around. So you could be hiking on this thing for hours and hours and hours. And it's just so beautiful. I highly recommend you go check it out if you haven't been here. It's also a great place to go if you are an admirer of wildlife because there are mule deer and other small mammals in the area, including river otter and beaver. Unfortunately, I did not get to see any river otter or beaver when I went, but maybe if you go, you might get to see those little guys. And if you're a bird lover, you might keep your eyes open and you could spot a bird of prey, such as a prairie falcon, golden eagles, geese and ducks are also along the river there. But Definitely take note that there are rattlesnakes in some of the areas of the park. Yes, Oregon does have rattlesnakes in the eastern side of the state, which is where the deserts are located. So please be mindful of where you are stepping. Now, Smith Rock is actually one of the seven wonders of Oregon. Yes, there are seven natural wonders in Oregon. So, Smith Rock being one of them, there's also the Columbia River Gorge, Crater Lake, Painted Hills, the Oregon Coast, and the Wallowas. I've been able to visit five out of the seven natural wonders. 
And so far, my favorites are Smith Rock and Painted Hills. And this painting's already inspiring me to perhaps do a painting of each one of the Seven Wonders of Oregon. For example, the Painted Hills, you guys won't believe it if you don't see it in person. It's one of the most stunning places on the planet. It is part of the John Day Fossil Beds, which is actually comprised of three locations. So you have Clarno Unit and Sheep Rock Unit and then the Painted Hills. They're called that because it literally looks like somebody took a paintbrush and painted them in gorgeous stripes of orange and reds and yellows. And it's just the most amazing place you'll ever see. The Painted Hills are a little bit farther away than Smith Rock from Portland. It's closer to a four hour drive, if not a little more. So you will be wanting to find a place to stay while you're out there. Otherwise, you'd be having a very long day trip from Portland. I stayed in a wonderful little, I think it was an Airbnb type of a place. A woman in Mitchell, Oregon, rents out several houses and she decorates them beautiful um, in all kinds of artwork. Her husband was an artist. I can't remember the name of it, but definitely look it up. It's in Mitchell, Oregon. It's a great place to stay because you're located to two out of the three John Day Fossil Bid locations. Pretty close. And then the third one being a little bit farther away. I believe that's the Clarino unit. Anyways, it is so cool out there. Absolutely recommend that place as well. You're going to want to check it out. You just won't believe it. It's like stepping back in time millions of years ago. It's been mostly untouched by man, and it is really impressive. I think I'll link as much information I can in the description box down below about these locations. Um, I'll list, obviously, all seven of the wonders. Um, and if I can find the name of that place I stayed out, I'll link that too. Um, that way you guys can go check it out because it's really worth the trip if you can make it out there. Now, please make sure when you visit these beautiful wonders of Oregon that you are very respectful of them. For example, if you go to the Painted Hills, please stay on the path. Do not get off the path. The path is there for a reason. These lands have not been touched by humans, and they really should remain that way. So please, as much as you may want to reach out and touch the Red Hills or walk on them, don't do that. You're literally going to be destroying their beauty and again, if you go camping, for example, please make sure you pack up all your stuff with you. Don't leave anything behind. Um, also, don't take anything from the land. I just feel like that's definitely a bit disrespectful. We want to make sure that we are respectful of the earth and of Mother Nature. She has given us so much, and it seems like all we do is take. So when you go see these wonderful, magical places, Please be mindful of that. So now let's talk about the painting that I'm doing today. As you can see, I'm using a palette knife for about 50% of this painting. I used it definitely in the clouds and then I brushed them out with a blush brush. That's right, I repurposed a makeup brush and it works wonderfully for that. And so right now you can see I'm adding in some details with a couple different little brushes. And I'm just going back and forth between my palette knife and my brush. And I'm building up my layers in this painting, which is what I normally do. So I just add color upon color upon color until it looks right. And here you can see I'm starting to add in the details using a smaller brush and just scrubbing in a bit of color. And now I will be adding in even more details. I'll be starting to put in some plants, some bushes and branches, and we're gonna put a big tree right here on the side. It's going to look beautiful. I have a wonderful idea of how I should be coloring this so that the top of the tree is a little bit brighter and the bottom is darker, much like the rock is behind it because this is an early morning painting. The sun is rising and hitting just the peaks of Smith Rock along with the tree I'm putting in here. 
And please don't forget, if you've liked this video, please show me by hitting that little like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content. I have over a hundred videos on my channel now. I started YouTube a little over a year ago, about a year and a half now, and I've been having a lot of fun and it really helps the channel to grow when you click on the like button and hit that subscribe bell. So now the final step of this painting is to add the final layer of color. So I'll be taking my palette knife and using really, really bright colors such as blue in the shadow areas and bright magenta for the mountain peaks and this beautiful lime green color for the top of the tree. And here it is, the finish piece. Beautiful Smith rock with all these lovely layers of colors I've built into it. I honestly think this is one of my best paintings I have done in years. I'm super proud of it. So again, I want to thank you all for watching this video and hanging out with me today in my art studio as I paint this beautiful piece of Smith Rock. And I hope that you're able to go out and visit Smith Rock to see the beauty for yourself. Until next week, everyone, take care and I'll see you later.